Good morning. Welcome class 5. Once again, we are back with another audio visual related to English by Gargi Ma'am. Well, good evening to all those who are watching me in the evening and good afternoon to all the those who are watching me in the afternoon. And I'm sure you must be thinking all the time ma'am says that good evening, good afternoon, good e I mean good morning, good evening, good afternoon or good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Because I'm sure that many of your parents are working so y'all might not be able to access the portal, right? to download the video so you might end up watching in the evening you might end up watching in the afternoon when your parents are back from work or maybe when there is somebody at home so i i would love to begin my day by greeting you okay so i i basically don't know whether you are watching me in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening right so that is why I was just wondering to, you know, apprise you of the same, to tell you of the same. Now, tomorrow we have a live class, right? So tomorrow we're going to take up the Little Green Men, the poem, which uh, I remember teaching you, but many of you, maybe y'all were absent, so y'all didn't get access to that, or maybe you missed out on the class. So I'm going to do that again, once again. So tomorrow, please be ready with your My Best Book. But today we're going to do an interesting chapter, which is called Question Tags. And the book is Tune Into Grammar, okay? And your chapter number is, and I'm so happy to receive homework from many of you. All right, children. Now, there are certain things which I wanted to tell you before I begin. It's chapter number 19, what we are going to do from this book. Okay, tune into grammar. Now, many of you are sending me 11, 12 attachments, click separately. Now, there is something called PDF converter or maybe a scanner which is available free for iOS as well as Android. Now children, if you can download that, what you do is, supposing you click photographs or maybe uh, eight to 10 pages or maybe eight to 12 pages, all right? So what you do, you immediately before mailing it to the school's email ID, the moment you go to uh, that PDF converter or the scanner which is downloaded, which is installed in your phone, automatically it gets converted. So you know your pages are serially arranged, your um, work is in the PDF format so that it becomes easy for me to use my pen on it to correct, right? Digital pen on it to correct, my stylus on it to correct, right? So please do the needful children, all those who are not sending me in the form of a PDF but majority of your, of your work is so neat, so good, especially I would, uh, you know, um, tell Manat, Manat, it was your first work which I have corrected today because there are many to follow on before I uh, uploaded my audiovisual. I am so impressed with your handwriting, Manat, Manat, fantastic. The way you have written and the way you have framed your questions and answers, your reference to context, your think and answer. Yes, I am so amazed because there, uh, Mannats was the uh, assignment what I have corrected till now so far. Okay, gradually there are many. So I am really impressed because think and answer, I had asked you to do it on your own and you have done it so well. Chapter on a dog from nowhere. Okay, very good Mannat. All right, I'm sure I will take up more names tomorrow because I have seen the work, the quality of work, what Safalta has been sending, what Aditya has been sending, Arush Mukherjee, okay, then um, quite a number. I am going to take out these gra names tomorrow. I'm going to display it on your screen when I take up the class. There are so many, but I was so impressed with Manat's work today because that was the first I would say digital notebook that I have corrected and I was so happy to see, you know, the letters touching the lines and writing the cursives are so good. It's not necessary that you have to use a 
cursive handwriting okay you can use a print style as well but you know a p should look like a p a d should look like a d uh, an a should look like an a yes a c should uh, uh, look like a c you know closing the tops of your eye you know the 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 uh, the dot which is on top of a die should be a dot and not a zero okay so i was really really happy once again very good work keep up the good work manat Yes, there are many of you. Please don't feel disappointed if I have not taken your name because her notebook, her digital notebook, was the first thing what I have corrected so far, right? So may I begin? Okay. Today we are going to do chapter number nineteen. If I am not wrong, okay. Today we are going to do chapter number nineteen. It is called question tags. Okay. Now, what is a tag? All right, I'll come to that. Question tag. Yes, children, I wanted to use the green board today. Uh, I have tried my level best to arrange it. I hope it's visible to you. All right, so question tags. This is chapter number 19. Okay, chapter number 19 from TIG. And the date... Today is 20th of January 2021. Yes, hopefully we should be able to meet sooner, right? I've been telling the other day to class 4 also. Keep your fingers crossed, class 5 as well. Hopefully if the vaccines are rolled out for all of us, then we will be meeting sooner, right? Let's keep a, you know, I'm waiting for that day with bated breath. Right. It's been a while. It's been a, a year. We've been, you know, interacting through the virtual medium, isn't it? Through the virtual platform. Right. We have not been able to see each other physically. Right. And I'm sure you must be wondering, when do we get to see the school? When do we get to meet the teachers, principal, ma'am, everybody? Yes. The caregivers, the drivers, the conductor, bhaiyas, the driver, bhaiyas, the didis. Yes. And when do we get to play around in the ground? And it's such a beautiful school, children. Once in a while for our work, we had to go, you know. It, it is so beautiful, children. It, it, I mean, it is enveloped with greenery as well as it has the modern amenities in it also. Modern amenities in the sense, a beautiful basketball court, a beautiful tennis court, a beautiful swimming pool, a beautiful play area for the toddlers and you won't believe children you know you just can spend as much as time out there you know you can spend as much as time out there okay let us come back enough of talk talk today right and it is a wednesday right okay now what is a tag you know we know what is a question but what is a tag a tag is adding a group of words or maybe two words after a statement. Okay. So how it can be a statement, it can be a question. Now look at these sentences. Okay. I am writing various types of sentences. Please look at that. Let me use a colored. My favorite color for the chalk is a yellow color. So let me use that. Let me erase. Yes. Let me erase that so that I can get the whole board to myself so that I can explain. Now what is a tag? Okay. It is snowing outside. It is snowing outside. Right? Can you see this? It is snowing outside. All right. So this is a statement, right? It is a statement. Now look at this. Okay, let me use a different color. Okay. Is it snowing outside? Is it snowing outside? So what happens? My sentence becomes a question. My declarative statement becomes a becomes an interrogative statement, isn't it? Becomes an interrogative statement. Now, how do you change this with a question tag? So basically, 
use a blue color. Yes, you use a blue color. So basically, what you do is you just write this, okay? Please excuse the noise. I was just removing my chair. It is snowing. outside okay that was the statement right it is snowing outside now have you seen this this is basically a positive sentence it does not have a no or a not in it so it is snowing outside isn't it so ISN, this is called a contraction. That means your O is being used to denote with an apostrophe. Okay. So isn't it? So this is a question tag. Okay. Now you can, you can also use it. Are you ready? Okay. Huh? Now this is what? This is an expression, okay? But we are not going to focus on these kind of sentences. We are basically going to focus on question tags, which involves two words, okay? Now, there are certain rules to it, children. Please follow this chapter because this is an easy and an interesting chapter, okay? Let me erase the board. Now, there are certain rules to it. We are not ready for the match. Okay, let me do the questions first. And another sentence I'm ta taking is, let me use the uh, yellow chalk for using uh, to write the question. Another statement, please. We are ready. for the match. So can you see there is a not in it and there is no not in it. So what do we do now? What do we do now? Okay. So we, how are we going to do it? Using a tag. Now I said what is a tag, isn't it? A tag is a group of words. Okay. Or maybe two words which tags along with your statement and changes it into a question. Now, I'll also teach you how do you use your voice for that. Okay, now, we are ready for the match. We are ready for the match, comma. We are, sorry, we are not ready because this has a not. So you cannot leave out, miss out words. So we are not ready for the match. Are we? And then a question mark. All right. So when it has a negative statement, what do you do? You use a positive tag. All right. And what do you use it with? You use it with the pronoun, the subject which is there. Who, what is the subject here? What are we talking about? We are talking about us. Whom are we talking about? About us, we, right? Now let us take this statement. Now this is a positive statement. We are ready for the mark. So we are ready for the match. Again, your punctuation. I will come to everything, okay? Punctuation is comma and aren't we? Okay, aren't we? Why? Because it does not have a no or a not in my statement. Do I have a no or a not in it? No, I don't have a no or a not in it. So my statement is basically a positive statement. So whenever I use a positive sentence, so the tag is going to be a negative. Please remember that. Please drill that. Now, there are certain rules, okay? Now, let me take up another sentence, okay? Let me take up another sentence. Please 
follow these children and as I say, please keep your book open with you so that once you understand, once you can connect with whatever I'm saying, you can do the exercise on your own. Okay, you can do it on your own. All right. So let us take this another example. Okay, let me use a different color. I love using colored chalks and colored markers. Yes. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it. Let's see. Now, Alicia, can you see this children? Oh, great. It is visible, the green color. It's like green on green. Alicia is crying for help. Now, this is basically my sentence, all right? This is basically my sentence, fine? This is the question. Now, I ask you to change it using, using a question tag. So, have you seen the subject? Who is crying for help? Alicia, okay? Alicia. So, you are going to write, Alicia is crying for help comma that's your punctuation isn't now you see alicia you cannot write that isn't she and then a question mark let's let's write it properly isn't she and then a question mark so basically alicia is crying for help isn't she so have you seen something here my subject changes into a pronoun once the question tag is used. When the subject is being used in the question tag, it changes to a pronoun. So you have to have, now do you remember these things children? Is, am, are, is, am, are, has, have, what, what are they basically? They are helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. A-U-X-I-L-L-A-R-Y. They are auxiliary verbs so the rule number one is okay look at listen to the rules for question tags the first thing is whenever it's a positive sentence the sentence will have a negative question tag whenever it's a negative sentence it has to have a positive question tag second thing a helping verb is used with a contraction n apostrophe t okay when it is being used in the question tag so helping verbs that is your auxiliary verbs are should be there in a question tag and followed by a pronoun so whatever your subject is the subject has to change into a pronoun the boys are happy so when i'm using a question tag the boys are happy aren't they instead of the boys and what is your punctuation? You have to be very, very careful about using your punctuation. So punctuations would be as soon as you write the main sentence, you give a comma, then you use the question tag and then end it, complete it with a question mark. Otherwise, if your question tag is correct, but your punctuations are incorrect, straight away out of one, I'm going to give you no mark. I'm going to give you null. I'm going to give you nil. I'm going to give you zero. All right. So, please be careful about this. So, now what? There are certain rules more, okay? Because I don't want to go into the complex level. Now, when you have sentences like, you know, let's take up on page 127, okay? When you have sentences like page 127, if you can look, look through the table which is given there, okay? The guests have arrived. Okay, let us take this out. So there is a different question tag for it. Okay. There are different question tags for it. The guests have arrived. So again, what is my first 
thing to note whether it is a positive. So yes, it is a positive, right? It is a positive sentence. So I should remember that my tag is going to be a negative. The guests have arrived. Side by side, you have to remember that you need to use the correct punctuation. So a comma comes in and have it. They. Now can you see the changes? It has a contraction here, not, okay? Why? Because it is a positive. And the guests changes into they. All right? And it has a question mark at the end. Now, we have different types of question tags, children, which I don't want to give uh, you, uh, introduce you much in this particular class because simple ones are good enough for class five. Rhetorical questions, you know, what do you do when you have a command? So a command need not be, you know, having a helping verb there. Okay, so how do you do it? Say, supposing, come here. Okay, so that depends upon the certainty you want that person to come here so a my question tag has to be a positive okay come here will you all right so these are little complex ones which i don't want to bring up in this particular class these are called rhetorical when you have rhetorical question tags okay a rhetorical question so what do you do so that comprises of you know requests commands okay Fine, advice, so what do you do when you don't have a helping verb in the sentence? So we will do that gradually, not now. Let us stick to the simple ones because, you know, your exercise, what is given in your book is quite, it's going to be a piece of cake. That's how I would put it. Yes. Now, match these sentences to the question tags. Okay. So you are going to do this on your own, right? I will send you the answer keys tomorrow, okay, after the live class. I am not going to do this now because you will do it straight away. You are going to close your eyes and copy. Oh, answer mil gaya, answer mil gaya. Abhi chodo. You don't have to think. So I'm going to copy. No. So you're going to rack your head today and then wait for the answer keys. After two days, I'm going to send the answer keys. Otherwise, I am not. All right, class five, because that becomes like spoon feeding. It's like I'm feeding a one-year-old. Even one-year-olds can try feeding themselves, right? You know, they start holding little, little things. So you are big enough. Yes, you are the senior most in the primary segment. Yes, you are the senior most class in the primary segment, right? So you have to be, before we you go to the middle school, isn't it? Six, seven, and eight falls under middle school. So you are the senior most class in the primary segment. So there are certain expectations as teachers from you right so you are going to do match the sentences to the question tags exercise on learn okay 128 page number 128 and you are not going to draw lines to match that is something i totally dislike so you are basically going to number the answers here okay and then what do you do i said download a pdf converter or a pdf scanner so you can do automatically convert your clicked images to a pdf that is very very easy for you to do so then you don't have to you know send maybe eight to ten pages or twelve i have also got 16 attachments together so you know it's very difficult because the moment i go to the mail and download then pages are not arranged serially but when you go on clicking images so together it gets converted so it's like serial you know first this page then the next page and the a following page you know so please download that before sending the and that's free that's available free in the app store all right google play store if i'm not wrong or maybe at store for ios right so please do that children that is totally free okay that will be handy for future as well now practice exercise a choose the correct question tag for each of these sentences so you have two options one of them is correct one of them is incorrect so you are basically going to do exercise a in your notebook with beautiful handwriting using black and blue and then send as a pdf to me for correction right class five then exercise b 
fill in the blanks with question tags so you basically have to just fill in the question tag here this can be done in your textbook you don't need to do a in the textbook textbook only you will do the learn exercise exercise b so far now let us see what is c change these sentence statements to questions using the question tags now this is going to be an interesting exercise so this is to be written in your notebook so children when you are writing it in your notebook you need not copy the questions you can directly write the answers but if you feel that's little complicated when you are sitting down to revise or practice or maybe uh, do a review of the chapter then you can copy the question but from my end you need not copy so many questions and then start writing the answer but if you find that that comfortable for you to write down the question then you can have a good review without referring your book then you can do so you can copy the question so again let me re uh, you know reiterate on the same that you will do exercise a and c in the textbook which textbook your grammar textbook now children i am expecting your creative writing the writing exercise uh, or uh, from the chapter uh, a dog from nowhere because which has not reached me so far only few have written and the moment i have told you that think and answer you have to do it on your own many of you are shying away from the homework so that is very disappointing children even if it is wrong you have seen me writing it down for you isn't it in your pdf so please 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 there are 46 to 47 maybe 50 of you in this class please do mail me your homework i know there are certain glitches some of you might have difficulty but as i said you know that doesn't take much of your data for mailing uh, an image if the image is converted to a pdf that consumes less data if you don't have wi-fi so please children please uh, by the weekend please send me your homework and today's work do not expect the answer keys because i am not going to send it before i get your work otherwise you're going to end up copying it okay all right and i had given value education homework as well i have started receiving many of your homework so good to see class five you all are really really cooperative because you are sending me your homeworks but yes there are some of you specifically srijit srijit i am very disappointed i am not receiving your homework on time so if you are able to see this video and hear me calling out your name please do the needful srijit i want to see your homework for this term I have not received any homework from you so far. All right. So bye for now. Class 5. See you tomorrow. Please do not miss your class. <coughs> also, please uh, tell your friends if they are out of station and if they are not aware of the live class to attend it tomorrow. All right. Because I want to see a packed classroom. Of course, it's virtual. So what? I love to see your faces that day. You know, the class should be full. It gives a satisfaction to any of us as teachers okay so stay safe take care and see you tomorrow and don't forget to do your homework bye bye